Hey, it's your boy Soda, and today we're going to be looking at how, how to buy the Terabyte in GTA 5 online, what it does, and why you should buy one. Okay, so to buy the Terabyte in GTA 5 online, you're going to want to open up your phone, go to Travel and Transport, and then go to Warsaw Cash and Carry. And the Terabyte is going to cost you 1.3 mil, 1,375,000 just on its own. And then you can also get various upgrades for it inside which are going to cost you a little bit more if you want and you can also get interior decal for example a turret station if you want you can get a drone station which you'll be need to buy do more missions and then you'll like terabyte missions and you also get a weapons workshop and you also get a specialized vehicle workshop and what the specialized vehicle workshop is it is for the oppressor mark ii so as you guys see over here i have the oppressor mark ii which i will show you guys as well in the warsaw cash and carry the presser plays a role into the presser mark II because when you get the presser mark II, let's see where it is, it's over here. You can either buy it for 2.9 mil, I've already have one, or then you can buy it for the trade price, like for a cheaper price than this. And to be able to buy it for the trade price, you're gonna need to do terabyte missions. And right now I'll quickly show you guys how to do the terabyte missions and I'll also show you guys the other fe features that the terabyte has. So once you go inside over here, you get the touch screen, right? And then to do the client jobs, I believe you have to do five different client jobs if you want to buy the, if you want to get the presser mark two in, um, what should we call it, for the trade price. So you have robbery in progress data, sweep targeted data, and diamond shopping. And as you guys see, for some of these, you need the drone area. And for this one, I need to enable, you need another player in your organization to launch this challenge. And for these two, you just need to have like more than one person in your CEO to do that. But you just need to do five different jobs of these, and then you can unlock the Presser Mark II for the trade price. And what the other thing the Presser Mark II does is, it has air fried cargo as well. So it, yeah, uh, it helps you if you ha own a hangar. You can get, you can start like you can start your collections for your other businesses straight from your terabyte. So if you have like a hangar, you can instead of going all the way to the hangar to start the mission, you can just call your terabyte to wherever you are in the map and start it from there. Start the collection for the cargo over there, and then you'll just have to deliver it to your hangar. The same thing with a special cargo warehouse. You can do that from anywhere, so you don't have to go to your maze wet, like maze bank building. You can just start from the terabyte. The same thing if you're starting an MC. Right now, I'm registered as a CEO, so I can't do this. But if you are registered as MC and you don't want to buy supplies, but you want to do a supply mission, you can just start it from your terabyte. You don't have to go to the business itself. Like let's say if you're in the desert and your business are in the city, or vice versa. And then. You can also do your gun running supplies, which is for your bunker, and then you can also do your vehicle cargo from the terabyte itself. And this thing is pretty sturdy. It can also hold a lot of rockets and a lot of bullets. So it's really essential, especially if you own a vehicle cargo, it is, in my opinion, the best thing to save time. Because I have a video on how to only source top range cars, and you can sell top range cars for 100,000 each. And that is a lot of money. So every two hours, I can literally farm for 1.2 mil worth of cars. Because every 30 minutes, you can sell four top range cars if you have friends to help you. And as you guys see, I'm on. I'm going to pull up the map. My special vehicle cargo is over here and my terabyte is over here. So when I source my top range cars, I generally, generally have to start it all the way over here. Which is at my Maze West Bank uh, building. So I do the car mission and then I have to drive or fly all the way from here. To all the way here again but the terabyte saves me so much time because i just parked the terabyte straight right across the street from the vehicle warehouse so i don't have to go all the way there so I, after i deliver a car i literally just go to the terabyte and i start my vehicle i steal like i start the v mission to steal another vehicle straight from over here so that's why i would buy it and if you guys are interested in seeing how to buy a special cargo warehouse or any of the other businesses i have gta on daily online guides and the most important one is the how to only source top range cars like i said there's a way to only get one hundred thousand dollar cars to steal you'll never uh, steal a mid-range or standard range car again if you watch this video so i'm going to link it at down below in the description and i'm also going to link it at the end peace out guys thank you so much for watching if you want to join my 
GTA Online crew on PS4, Moneyway crew, we're currently 80 members strong. All you gotta do is hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know your PS4 gamer tag in the comments down below and why you wanna join the crew. Peace out, take it easy, catch you guys next time. Ra.